Well, in this video, I'll be showing you the theming options that I've chosen in KDE. Well, this is Kubuntu 14.04. And I've got a dark background to the applications and this uh, turquoise surround to the windows here. So I quite like how I've got it here. So what I'm going to do is take this Kubuntu virtual machine, which is not styled at all, and uh, I'm going to show you what I've done. Now I'll start with the application appearance. So on the fine tuning side, I go for the high display resolution and very high CPU. Yes, because I've got that power on my system. In the widget style, I choose the scroll bars. I've got a narrower scroll bars on my system. Is it about uh, 12 pixels I got, I think? Let's just apply that and see what happens. And uh, no, I need something with scroll bars now to show it off, don't I? That could be enough. Yeah. So I've got a narrower scroll bar there. And one thing I've just missed off there is on the scroll bars, I only have the one button at the bottom. For the colours, I have Obsidian Coast. For the icons, I go to Get New Themes. Now I've gone for the New Mix Compass icons. So let's see if I can find that. Now I know my system will fail here because uh, yes, access denied to store.nitrix.in. Because I have a distrust of certain Indian websites. Uh, there's a high percentage of malware from that country. I know there are some genuine websites like this one, but uh, there is also a high percentage of malware, so I block that through DNS. So just for convenience purposes, I'm using hide my ass. I know it's not the best proxy, but it does the job. Right, so I'll go over to Compass and then select the download for KDE. And we immediately get a pop up from Hide My Ass. Thank you very much. So I'll save that file. Go to Install a Theme File. Select Location into Downloads. And I already downloaded it earlier, didn't I? I forgot about that. Never mind. So yeah, select that and then we can use it. So apply that theme. In the fonts I choose the Ubuntu font. So font, you can choose any font you want here, it's, uh, it's really your choice. Just increase the size a little bit because why not? I've got a big enough screen here. Job done. For the anti-aliasing, go to enabled, configure, subpixel rendering, RGB, and hinting style slight. There's also another change you need to make on that, but I've got a whole video dedicated to the font settings in KDE. You do have to make some more changes to make the GTK applications take effect. Anyway, for the GTK themes, I've just left it as Oxygen GTK, and the font, yeah, Ubuntu. So that's all that part done in the application appearance. Next, I go to Workspace Appearance, and the theme I use here is called Ghost Deco. So just do a search for Ghost. And this one's quite easy. I can just go and install it through there. So yeah, Ghost Deco 2.2. You close that. It appears on the list. Go for Apply. There we go. The cursor theme. Now for the cursor theme, I need the full range of oxygen cursors. So I'll just open up console here and then type in sudo apt get install oxygen cursor theme extra. I've already got that on my system, so I don't actually need to follow through with that installer. But the one I use is called Oxygen Midnight Meadow. I quite like that colour. Now for my older videos, I used to use the Oxygen Vibrant Orange. That one also looked quite good as well. But I, no, I quite like Midnight Meadow now. Right, for the desktop theme, choose Oxygen. So that brings you the dark colour there for the panels. For the splash screen, I'll leave as is, because it's only there at boot up. Now in desktop effects, for all effects, under translucency, I'll just show you one that I use here, because it's not obvious where it is, for the getting the pop-up menus to appear slightly transparent. I'll choose, I think it was, yeah, menus. So yeah, just reduce that down a little bit. Okay, for that. So if I right click, and you can see, yeah, the right click menu there is partially transparent. I can't remember all the changes I've done there on the desktop effects, but you know, 
but yeah, just go through and uh, have a play around with them. I think there's one last one I forgot to do on the window decorations, and that is the configure buttons. So use a custom layout here. So what do I want here? Custom positions. I think you can drag and drop them, can't you? Yeah. So take the close button, maximize and minimize. And then on that side, I have that one. I think it's the plus I get rid of entirely. So let me see. OK. And apply. Yeah, close enough. Yeah, I'll get rid of that help one as well. I don't always, I never use that. So yeah, anyway, apply. So yeah, that's pretty much what I've done with the theming of KDE. There's a few differences there on the fonts. Yeah, I've got some larger, some emboldened. So yeah, slightly different, but that's the basics of it. So thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.